Rev up your engines. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a very common problem in a car. It happens to all of us at some time. You hit your brakes hard and that makes your steering wheel shake back and forth while you're stopping. And the most common cause of that is warped brake rotors. So I'm going to show you how to check for warped rotors and how to replace them yourself when they're bad. Now the first thing you want to check is the front end. So jack the car up and in this case it's a Lexus. So in the middle of the frame here in the front you can jack the whole front end up. Now normally wobbling when braking is caused by warped rotors, but sometimes front end problems do that. So check that before you do the brake job. So grab the tire at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock and see if it has any play. This doesn't have any play here. Then grab it at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock and see what happens. In this case there was no play either way, so this side of the front end is pretty solid. Then do the same thing on the other side. This side doesn't have any play either. So we'll take the wheel off and check the brake rotors. Ah! Off goes the wheel. Now to inspect the rotor, you have to measure various parts. And the easiest way to do that is just take the brake caliper off. So in this case we get a 14 millimeter socket and unbolt it. Ah, the bottom ball comes off then the caliper will just slip right up and you can pull it to the side. Then you can pull the two brake pads off and you can measure the rotor. Now you can feel if they're really warped, but you're better to use a measuring device to see if it's warped. Now as a professional mechanic I have $500 sets of fancy micrometers to measure it, but really you can go to a hardware store and get one of these outside calipers for 19 bucks and they work perfectly fine for your purposes. And what you do is this, you measure at different parts, but if you turn it and measure different widths then you find that now there's more play. That means that the rotor's warped because it should be the same exact width the whole way around. Which of course is what I thought in the first place, but really you're better to measure stuff than just guess. Oh, this thing's only 19 bucks, you can use it forever. And now to get the rotor off, we have to take the whole brake caliper assembly off. So you get a giant bar, stick it on, then pull like mad. Now it's coming loose. Now I turned the wheel so I could access it better, and then we just finished taking the bolt off and the one on the bottom, and off it comes. Now the old rotors often stick on so we'll whack it from the back side to get it off. <laughs> off it comes. Now the new rotors are often coated with stuff so they don't rust. So get a can of spray brake cleaner and turn on your big fan because this stuff stinks. Then put the new rotor on. Line it up. Then get the caliper bracket. Line it up, put the two big bolts in, one in the top and one in the bottom. You gotta wiggle them around till they go in the hole, right? And make sure those bolts are on nice and tight. Mm. Then comes time for brake pads. Now there's millions of different kinds of brake pads out, and I always like trying out new stuff. So I decided to try these Sankson brake pads out, and hey, I gotta admit, they seem to work quite well. Just make sure you buy the ultra premium ones. Don't ever buy low quality brake pads. Always buy the best ones that you want to put on your car. Now if you don't want them to squeak, you use some of this brake and caliper grease and you put it on the edges. These things already have anti-squeal shims, so it doesn't need any back, but the edges needed so they slide and don't make noise. Then the pads just slip into the little holes, one on one side and one on the other. Now you have to squeeze the calipers back in. A lot of guys will use a giant pair of pliers, but you can have problems if you squeeze them in too fast, it can mess with your ABS system or ruin your brake master cylinder. So instead I use this brake caliper retractor kit. Hey, this thing costs $19 on Amazon and it's all solid steel, it works great. For 19 bucks it'll fit any car you're ever going to buy, certainly worth it. Real easy to use, you just get the device, leave an old brake pad in, slide it here and then you turn the handle to squeeze the calipers back in. And as you turn the handle, it squeezes the pistons in, but nice and slowly, so it doesn't do any damage to your system. And once the pistons are flush with the top, you're done. And you just take it out. Off it goes. Then the caliper itself just goes in the hole, slides on, and you put the bolt back on. Then get your 14 millimeter socket and wrench and uh, get it nice and tight. Then straighten the wheel back up and put the tire back on. And on it goes. 
And of course, do the other side. You have to do brakes in pairs so they break evenly. So the next time your car steering wheel starts to shake when you're braking hard, now you know how to fix it yourself. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.